Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today we're having something really extreme and we're going to talk about Asus ROG Rapture GT-AX11000. This is a wireless gaming router which gives you an immense performance when it comes to download, upload, ping and connectivity to the game server. So let's go into specifications. This gaming router is based on a 802.11 AX standard with three band gaming router. So this is three band gaming router, which means two bands are on 5.0 gigahertz and one is on 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, when it comes to that uh, and download speed, it's 2.53 times faster when you download a game uh, with 25 gigs, for instance, of size. I know some games are now 100 gigs, but nevertheless. So two hours it takes you to download a standard game through Wi-Fi uh, with 25 gigs of storage. But with this gaming router, it takes only 47 minutes or so they say. But we're going to do some tests, but first let's continue on the specifications. This is the world's first 10 gigabit Wi-Fi router with quad-core processor, 2.5G gaming ports, DFS band, WT fast, eye mesh for mesh Wi-Fi system and eye protection, network security, triple level game acceleration which accelerates game traffic every step of the way, so from the device to the game server. You have the OFDMA which is one channel can transmit data of several devices at the same time thus giving and improving efficiency and reducing latency. The TWT target wait time allows transmission to be scheduled allowing devices to sleep for longer periods delivering up to seven times better battery life. Uh, standard compatibility so uh, 802.11ax uh, is compatible with current Wi-Fi standards which include 802 Point eleven AC and 802.11 N and more. It's also future-proof because it's compatible with those. As I mentioned, it's 2.53 times faster when it comes to download speed, which the, the size that was tested was 25 gigs, so that kind of makes sense since uh, the standard uh, time to download was 2 hours and the uh, download was 47 minutes. When it comes to the router and connectivity, you need to connect it with your RJ45 cable, so LAN cable, directly to the second LAN port on the uh, router. And basically then you have to insert, well, type in the IP address of the router to get their intuitive software, which gives you the ability to adjust the router as you wish. So you start with adjusting it and then just giving the names to your three band uh, Wi-Fi connectivity, so two 5.0 gigahertz and one 2.4 gigahertz. When it comes to connectivity, you have an on-off switch, you have a jack for your power supply, which is really handy and it's really small, so just the adapter is directly to your power socket. Everything else is just standard cable, so you can reroute it however you wish. You have two USB 3.0, you have a standard 2.5 GE port, you have a LAN port and you have four additional LAN ports, which give you the ability to connect everything, basically. Now, uh, I have my phone right here which I used to uh, connect directly to my wireless router and you do have to take into consideration that the router and my phone it, are divided with a concrete wall. So we have ping is 15 millisecond, download speed is 8.73 megabits per second and the upload speed is 11 megabits per second. Also, I do have to mention that my maximum speed is 100 megabits per second download and 100 megabits per second upload. So this is really strange. I mean, okay, I have a concrete wall right here, but let's check the tests with the router. So the tests are like this, 54, ping is 14 milliseconds, uh, download speed 54.4 megabits per second and uh, upload speed is 59.2. Of course, I don't like to make uh, fake advertising and I don't like to make uh, fake conclusions and results. So I went directly to the router, the original router that I got from my provider, 
just to remove the concrete wall between the phone and the speeds so to check the exact speeds so 4 milliseconds ping 19.3 megabits per second download and 17.9 megabits uh, per second upload basically taking the second results into consideration because I have a cable right here that is connected directly to the router uh, kind of makes sense uh, that I do have to remove the concrete wall just to get the real results so 90.3 according to 54.4 you do really get to 2.5 times faster speed with the router right here just because of the 5 gigahertz connectivity and that's basically it I mean the results say everything guys the design is great and the antennas you have loads of antennas you can adjust them as you wish with all the possibilities of course and basically adjust the wireless signal uh, to get it well to adjust the antennas to get the better wireless signal of course Asus wouldn't be Asus if they didn't place an RGB Republic of Gamers logo which can be turned off uh, next to that the design is immaculate well it's it has a standard uh, Asus uh, Republic of Gamers uh, whole top cover and the design really looks cool so you wouldn't be uh, hiding it like a standard router that you put it on the shelf or somewhere else so nobody can see it the positive things so the pros are two 5 gigahertz bands and one single 2.4 gigahertz band very well made with good software as I said you just put in your uh, the IP address of the router that you have in the manual and that's it looks really good I have nothing to say against that and loads of LAN ports to share your network so you have four additional LAN ports which is quite the right uh, the con the only negative thing which when you think about it and everything you get with the router it's kind of reasonable but still uh, the price I would say is a bit on the downside when it comes to the whole thing all together so Taking into consideration the results and everything you get, I have to approve this product with PC Crazy Performance Badge because the Asus ROG Rapture GTAX 11000 really does perform and outperform standard routers that you get from your provider. If you have higher speed from your provider and you want to achieve everything and maximum that you get from them then this would be definitely really cool to have if you can afford it of course if not then you have a problem like I do with the concrete wall or either rerouting the cable but guys this thing is incredible so yeah I'll put the links below where you could check the price and of course if you decide to buy it and that'll be it for today thank you for watching today's video and I'll see you in another one bye bye